Light emitting diodes, LEDs, are the most widely used semiconductor diodes among all the different types of semiconductor diodes available today. Light emitting diodes emit either visible light or invisible infrared light when forward biased. In this video, I will show you how LEDs are constructed and how they work. Let's start the video. Welcome to Star Technology 5G. What is an LED? LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. LED is the most used electronic component in our daily life. It is a small bulb that can be fitted inside any circuit. It is a special type of device that converts electrical energy into light energy when current flows through it. It has two terminals, one is called an anode, and the other is called a cathode. The symbol of an LED resembles any conventional PN junction diode, except it has arrows pointing outward representing the emission of light. This terminal is called an anode, and this is called a cathode. LEDs are available in different colors and sizes, such as yellow, green, blue, red, and white LEDs as well. These LEDs are called through-hole LEDs, this is an LED bulb. LED bulbs use surface-mounted LEDs inside them. When current flows through these LEDs, they emit light. This type of LED typically operates between 1 to 2.5 volts. LED is always connected in a forward condition. It means the cathode is always connected with the negative terminal of the battery, and the anode is always connected with the positive terminal of the battery. When this condition is met, it radiates light. Construction of LED The outer casing is called an exposed lens case. This flat part indicates the cathode side. This lead is called a cathode lead. And the other is called an anode lead. The longer leg is the anode while the shorter leg is the cathode. If we remove lens case. Cathode side is called anvil lead frame. The anode side is called the post lead frame. This is wire bond, it give positive supply to semiconductor die. This is called a reflective cavity. This is semiconductor die. A semiconductor die is made of three layers on the substrate. As you can see in the 3D model. The outer layer is sapphire layer. A trench is etched into the N-doped layer to allow a negative terminal to be placed. And P-doped layer to allow a positive terminal to be placed on the surface. P-layer. When trivalent impurities are added to the intrinsic or pure semiconductor, a P-type semiconductor is formed. In P-type semiconductor, holes are the majority charge carriers and free electrons are the minority charge carriers. Such as P-gallium nitride. N layer. When pentavalent impurities are added to the intrinsic semiconductor, an N type semiconductor is formed. In N type semiconductor, free electrons are the majority charge carriers and holes are the minority charge carriers, such as N gallium nitride. Active layer. If a piece of intrinsic silicon is doped so that part is N type and the other part is P type, a PN junction forms at the boundary between the two regions. This boundary is called active layer or PN junction. This region acts as barrier to the electric current. If we connect a positive supply to the P-type and negative supply to the N-type, the applied potential starts pushing on the P-layer and the N-layer. This semiconductor die release the energy in the form of light. This conversion of electricity into light energy is called electroluminance. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology. Please like and share the video.